forklift drivers. I think we're gonna be seeing Ducky Puss at mid very quickly again. To be honest, just this fucking cargo roller is so quick. I mean, Scars, where's he right now? Yeah, he's still in unders, and Ducky's already on mid, like. Red could literally just, like, double bomb a soldier into that pit, and but Scars is dead. I don't know if they realize where Scars is coming from most of the time, but. That'd be a strat, but. As well. Speaking of winning mids, it looks like Blue is just de destroying until Fuzz comes in and finds the lampshade, and. It is one player up, though, and it is only CJ. He's gonna do his best, but he will go down eventually. But not the worst case scenario, as uh, both meds will spawn at the same time. Will we see a crits from anyone? Um, ZL spawned on normal medigun, and I'm, um, yep, yeah, both normal yeah, medigun. Oh well. No crazy action, but that's all good. Not a whole hey, lot of creativity there. <laughs> nope. Um, that's alright. Looks like we're going to a pretty standard hold here, definitely. I, I don't mind holding this point at all. It's actually quite easy to hold second. And Red will want to try and get out. Try and get a sack or something. They actually have somehow ended up with Ad. They've grinded a little bit better, it seems. But they won't know that they have Ad, obviously. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go standard. I haven't really seen the off classes apart from Sean on the snipe, so I'd like to see that again. And do I hear a pirate? I do an Andrew, so he must think there's a spy somewhere. As uh, he was spamming flames around, but he's gonna swap off. And we see the Klebs spy, so an off class, just like I asked for. He just sh yeah, he's just checking. Fuck, God please damn. walk out. Come on, Klebs, you know you wanna do it. I can literally see, like, basically no action on the outlines Ooh. from the spawn right now. Yeah. Well, he's on the sniper now, and he's all blowing. Looking like he wanted to take a fight, but Kleb's not hit the shot, unfortunately. And oh, Sean is in. He actually did a damn good amount of damage, and he killed a dispenser. So that's a ultimate pick right there. Yeah, and Zildjian took it down. Not Zildjian, freaking Scars took it down again. So not sure why the push hasn't come out, but it's all good. Kleb's did hit a headshot before, but Zort Boying wants to put an end to that. I don't know if oh. I'm the only one that finds this crazy, but it's like... It, it feels like a crazy alternate universe where we've got both Xander and Wigan on Scout. Yeah. But also they're both doing actually very well so far. <laughs> yeah. They actually have been farming. They, look, Wigan got that 3k in the first win, and Xander's just been consistently getting one or two in each fight. As Sean is on the snow. Oh, that's Surf. That's a med Surf right there. You know he blows murder. Clean. Clean. He was. I've never seen someone go so high before. That was, that was quite impressive. But he is now going to be trying to find another angle. It's going to be very hard because Red's actually got pretty good positioning to try and deny angles, and they're aware of Sean. So, oh, he takes it direct there though, from uh, Mr. Klebs. And Zort Bloing. We're just speaking of him before Xander. I just like saying Zort Bloing. It kind of rolls off the tongue. Uh, but he finds another pick. He's just been consistently finding those ones. But, you know, I just saw in second. I feel like this map is favoured for the forklift drivers. Because there is literally a forklift on second. So, I don't know how they're having so much trouble with this map. Fucking forklift, dude. Yeah, I'd like... Maybe if there's a forklift on last, that'd be having a little bit more luck. I, I used to think there was one, but I, I, there's one on second. I think I'm getting mixed up. Um... Just kind of short on though. He's got this nice little crack. Oh, he's actually just gonna wide pick, but uh, he, yeah, if that med had gone, you know, slightly out from the dispenser, moved up the stairs a tiny bit, it would have been over. Yeah, oh, he said a headshot onto Ducky. Ducky's taking a few of those, but he's been overhealed every turn, so he's been alright. And now, Mr. Sean, he's gonna pick from the right, and he's got a good amount of room, but it's not really a good angle. He's trying to find the engineer, and uh, he's gonna miss the fully charged body. And he's gonna keep trying, but he's not gonna hit it. He's gonna change his attention, that engine is running at him! He's trying, he's trying to find that, but that engine uh, literally went to CJ and just held W and didn't touch any other strafe key or his mouse. That was that was some movie shit right there. Um, a couple of picks went down, two down on both sides, I don't know how that happened. I was so focused on CJ, just quite literally 
bull rushing, Sean. Um, and yeah, I, I guess we're just back to a standard. I haven't really seen many sacks from the red side. I think they've been too busy trying to deny this sniper. And is Sean back on it? No, he's not. He's on the soldier now. Um, I think he'll leave the sappy up to Catfish after seeing Sean's first jump. That's all good. That's now Klebs. He's going to be weak, but he's going to get out. And it, I feel like this is just a common story. Oh, I say that. They, I think they did a double sack there, actually. Uh, Mr. Sean and Catfish, but at the end of the day, they only get one pick and it's only fellas. Oh, but Scaz. Good catch, Clubs. They actually got both soldiers up. No, they won't get there in time, though. Yeah, definitely not. This is uh, this has probably been the longest stalemate there's been yet. Uh, we're 12 minutes left in the game. I think we're uh, like eight minutes in this round already. It's yeah. Yeah, five minutes left in the round. This is uh, not the best TF2 action, but it is TF2 action indeed. Kind of used to it. Actually, Sean's in here. He'll clean up Andrew. Yeah, and good damage from Skaz as well, but oh. it's not enough. As Sean and Zort blowing are down, and they might back up a little bit here because they are one player down. And it looks like Klebs wants to do something onto the Mr. Jandler. And Chandler will go down. Yeah, so that's pretty good. They've actually made their way through and Zort blowing now on the sniper. But I don't know if it's a good time because they actually want to come good out here. Ooh! Good air shot from Skaz. The clip isn't enough as he gets dropped. Wait, is the first sniper up? Oh, Xander's up on sniper. Okay. Yeah, the Zort blowing. He's on the snipe. He actually had an Uber for a bit there. Um. Zort Bloin just sounds like he should be from fucking Future Armor or something like I Like, I just think a Zoidberg Zort Bloin, it just kind of makes sense to me. I, I, I really want to know the, uh... What the origin of that name is. <laughs> the uh... inspiration by naming yourself Zort Bloin, all caps. But I tip it. It's a fun name to say. Don't, uh, uh, it's definitely better than Super Normal, like, come on, Scars. I, we can do better than that. Leb's finding the Jandler. That's another funny alias, actually. Base Jandler. We even asked what that was when we got no answer, so... Ooh, Ooh nice airplane. Also, ooh. Snazzy dying in the fucking open there. We can try to fly. <laughs> Just get some sound. <laughs> Dude, Skaz has been hitting all these yeah, pipes. Skaz is actually doing a very good job at living. Oh hey, my he god! Kill too. Skaz isn't missing pipes right now. Check him PC right now, man. He is... He's been hitting, every time I've been on his game, he's been hitting the air, air pipes and everything, so... Good stuff from him. One red sticky on that point is kind of terrifying. I'm, w I'm waiting for just Snazzy to be hit low and he walks onto it. Oh, there you go, got that. <laughs> They've got the double off class up again on Soul Free, but it's gonna be fucking slow. Yeah, no advantage for either team either. It's just one to one. A few percent Urad, actually. Could be oh, yeah. They, they are looking taking man. I don't even notice that over to be honest. And Wigan will probably be the first to fall, but he's slipping through the fingers until Andrew says stop. Oh, Zort Zort is Zort is oh my god, Zort! He's picked up too. Ducky Puss picks up too as well. Yeah, Trey's going back and forth, but it actually ends up in Blue's favour. Ducky Puss and Zeal, the last ones left. And they are running for their lives. Ducky Puss throwing Sean, all his ammo. Sean back cap, yeah, here we go. He's finding Ducky. Well, not back cap, but, you know, getting out behind him. Oh, Clay's and, oh he actually gets... my god. He didn't die either, Sean. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Sean thought he died. Uh, it's all good. Uh, that's a drop. That's the first drop of the game. Big. And that was by Clebs. Clebs picked up, like, Essentially three, though. That was huge. That's 2 1 for the forklift certified drivers. I say certified, I think it's just saying the forklift drivers. It's just, as I said, the account I'm on right now is so certified forklift drivers, so certified just kind of has to be in there. Um, that's not even just because of this game, either. That was just. Yeah, that's just, I just have a Steam account called Certified Forklift Driver that I used to play Counter Strike, and uh, I was on it playing some Wingman before this game, and then I was like, ah, oh, can't be bothered switching back. And, 
apparently one of the teams have been forklift drivers, so I mean, hey, whatever. Uh, it's hard to not root for them sometimes, but I, I have to root for the old boys in top 3. And what the hell, Skaz is going rogue! Look at him, he's deep! But, I mean, he surfs out, so good job. Janla again, doing what Janla does, whatever that is. Apparently it's mass murder, but... But he actually picks up two there as well. Oh my god. CJ31. Is he in on CJ as well? He gets that. Oh my god, Janla! Very based. This man's shoulders are going to be very sore by the end of map two. I reckon. I don't know if you'll have enough gusto for Matt Pro. Fuzz almost gets uh, super normal being Skaz, but Skaz hitting the pipes that he's been hitting all game back onto Fuzz and hits him in the teeth, so. And Jamless feeling it. He gets the force, dude. This guy is insane. He's doing everything for me. They might actually pick up Andrew here as well. Yeah, they do. Okay, we got a. There's gotta be some Jandler worship from Salt Free if they win this round. He's single handedly won them this round if they get it off this. Klebs, though, again, doing what he does best, and that is forcing. And they can still go in with the little Uber that they have left, but they're gonna have to get all these off classes pretty quick. Sean doing a fat amount of damage, but it's not cleaned, and they're also weak. I, they're just gonna get deleted in a second, I think. I say that, but Jandler, dude, that was all catfish. That was he, legitimately all him. He is on an 8 kill streak. What the fuck? This guy, he just hasn't lost his touch. Well, evened up 2 2, 7 minutes left. I gotta be honest. I, I was, you know, I was sort of being conservative because anytime I say they'll win, they lose, and vice versa. But, um, I actually think Sulfur might have it. Yeah, they've been looking quite strong. This Ross that they've got, obviously they switch it up pretty much every freaking week. But, uh, this one seems to be one of the stronger iterations, especially compared to the last final they played, but Wigan over Chase and Fuzz there are kind of feeds, but it's all good. Mid is looking okay until Skaz goes down and Zort blowing leading the retreat. Actually. As they have to be careful and Fuzz, yeah, well he's gonna go down. Ooh. Oh, what? No way! He gets lampshade. Clean little rocket there. That was clutch, it looked like he was dead, and oh my god, Klebs just puts a rocket down the Zort Boy's esophagus, and yeah, that's it. That's, uh, that's, a, good, that's a good advantage they have now. So, I'm really hoping I didn't jinx this game a little bit, considering <laughs> they are looking at, you know, Sulfur's last right now. Yeah, with 100% Uber out as well, and they actually have been converting them. From memory. Yeah. Actually, a few of them they haven't, but most of the time they haven't. They're gonna use through right, only a level one gun up. They've only just killed it. He's building another, and there was a debt on the point. Andrew dead, but oh no, the engineer going down with his gun. Not good, but again, we have the Jandler on the Brutus. Two down already on the side of red here, and we've got Xander coming in behind. He's, he's picked up one already. He's doing a good amount of damage. And yeah, they're gonna leave off that. We do have the spy from Mr. Andrew. Um, he's actually so, into it. Yeah, he is. First so, spy uh, player of the game. Yeah, that's actually true. So maybe they won't expect it, actually. Um, walking through. Through the right side, past the blue pipes, and Zort blowing, unknowing. Runs past the enemy. Blue had an oh. over advantage, and it's gone. I'm just looking at how far away oh, all of these no. software players are. Uh, your... He's done it. That was, that was a pretty heads up play right there. Yeah. Uh, he could have gone for a, a stab easily, but uh, he saw how far away everyone was, and yeah, he just uncloaked on the point and got an easy cap. And well, that's that's a, that's a rough way to lose a round, but top three down with four minutes 30 left. Yeah, and saying that I, you know, likely jinxed it, I was not expecting a spy to be walking about that round. Um, and I, I don't even salt free either. Like, they, they didn't really consider that as being a possibility. No, they didn't do the classic leave the runner on last. Um, and this mid not looking the best for them either. Losing two, three of their own. But Red losing three of their own now as well, but Snazzy is quite literally one tap, and there it is. Zeal is quite healthy compared to his greens, and there's only Scavs now, and as many pops as he has been hitting. 
If he 1v2s here, that would be something different, but it doesn't even look like he's gonna try. Oh, 185 insect is very hard to beat. Well, he is still actually playing Toxic. Yeah, he's, he's trying to bait, saying, hey, I'm here alone, then so I run into him, and that's it. But now he's going to have to do his best Minji impression in debt uh, without seeing anyone. They actually seem to know that he's there, because they're just not... Oh, actually, they're starting to walk talk to. Oh, this could be big. Oh, yeah, that... This is a debt. Yeah. Maybe should have dead earlier. Uh, he's a bit greedy trying to get them bed there as well. They spot that out pretty quickly. And here comes Klebs once again, probably the uh, one of the star players for their roster at the moment. CJ is going to find Mr. Sean. And Salt Free are retreating back into their base, falling over a disadvantage as well. A bit of the uh, the chaos play that's been going on so far in this map, that was actually surprisingly clean from both sides. Salt Free only leaving one soldier in, and I, I almost said forklift driver. Forklift certified. Managed to just <laughs> sort of, you know, inch a player or two in. Push them out, sort of thing. Okay, so is forklift certified? Is okay. It, 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 I'm yeah. um, I'm getting confused with my own freaking alias and I, whatnot. I, that's what I've got the name set as, but I did actually just alt tab and check because I wasn't hundred percent. Yeah, having yeah, my alias is certified forklift driver is throwing me for a bit of a well, but it's all good. We actually got a base gen up on the oh, he was so oh, he does get the scout actually. Oh yeah, nice. Um, Actually. and Ducky is just, Ducky's not respecting what they used. Yeah, there's a, I, I don't know if there was a, uh, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I, I, I totally was apparently, focused on the jam with him. Apparently, uh, Xander forced sealed though. I also do not know how that happened, but. I don't know how there's something on last either, this is just weird. He gets the clean up as well, on the mid. CJ somehow gets all blowing there. No way he gets two. Okay, he doesn't. Oh, nice rocket there from Mr. Jandler on Andrew. But Andrew's gonna find two, but he's looking up clean. Alright, well, that was chaos. And still a lot of oh, players snazzy. down. Did he, he got him. Oh, no. That'll be a healthy, good 30 something add for uh, Forklift Certified Stability. Yeah, Fuzz trying to find some more frags or blowing. Oh my goodness, Fuzz. He almost meets his doom. Two stickies at his, uh, at his toes. But as we said, uh, pretty big advantage now. For Red, but... Good play with Sora's oh, yeah, this oh, could be good. Oh, big they're damage. Kind of fun. Not a bad trade. Yeah, they're trying to go, and CJ's weak. He doesn't get the arrow that he wants. Zeal's gonna go down here, almost certainly. These last two are just gonna run to last, try and get it, but Wigan knows better. Wigan wins Wigan. these. Yeah, well, he doesn't win last, but they got the cap, so I mean, he did his job. But ain't help on Andrew. He nearly won actually right. both of that. That would have been a nice little right. one to be two there. The yeah, and Andrew is gonna try and get that second back cap, but I think he's given up on it pretty quickly. As they, oh my goodness, a Pudus in forwards. Well, Sildren will somehow, I mean, not Sildren, freaking Sean, will find. The kill somehow onto. I think that was Fuzz. And uh, now a big fight occurring Wait, here. Cleaning up. Oh, time. time. Time, yeah. Okay, I, yeah, uh, I wasn't looking. I did not see that. Uh, what clips did there? Well, I think that they win that map because there was a forklift on it. So that's expected. Two to three is pretty good, pretty close. And Salt Free definitely showing that they are strong. They have good DM. Uh, I think overall they have better DM from watching than the other team. And this is Koth, so that's where it'll it'll count, getting the kills. But we'll see. Excuse the uh, the no map overlay right now and the the massive last timer on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell is it's, that? Uh, I'm just. Setting up a uh, a map score. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, it's a lot smaller now. Cool. Apparently I've got the crate or something, let me check. What have I gotten? Yeah, winter twenty twenty one cosmetic case, let's go. That's a steal.
Well, it looks like we are on. What is this? This is yeah, this is clear cut as we said before. Cool. Um, well, they have to win this and the next, obviously, to uh, not get knocked out and see themselves in the grand finale, assault free grand finale. Would uh, oh, that'll be something. But we're not there yet. Currently. Focus certified on their way. And they have shown they're pretty strong. Uh, but that final cap really just went down to that spyback cap, which is uh, that's unfortunate for Salt Free, but none of that shenanigans should happen on a cloth. This play is finally loading in. Hopefully they get on the way as quickly as possible. I, I don't know if these are the guys who do smoke breaks in between games. I don't know if they'll salt free or if there was another team I heard of. But we are we do have some logs up on the screen. Crazy. Damn. Wow, Skaz's damage was actually pretty damn fat. Did ten k, ten point five k. He's the only one who reached it actually. Good go over a thousand lead over Fuzz. Yeah and. 20 and 8. Actually, Skaz is kind of farming in the background there, but of course, Mr. Jandler as well, 21 and 17, 282 DPM. Sean having actually a pretty still, pretty still decent game, uh, regardless of the KDA. Um, the red side, they all seem to be pretty, pretty consistent in their slays. They all 20, 20, there was a 14 there, 14, 26 clubs. Even though Klebs had that stat, he actually did decent. Uh, he did some massive plays. So, can't really... I mean, he pretty much converted a whole round for them, so you can't really say that that's a... He wasn't doing his job. Yeah, so um, I started just making the logs a bit bigger. Yeah, yeah. that's all good. There isn't that much to pick out of these. I no. also apparently cannot scroll a log, so sorry about that. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're looking to get the next game ready. It's, what, about 30 seconds game left, so... Alright, well, this will be a totally different game mode now. On the Koth, obviously, seeing some of the DM capabilities. I know Andrew uh, has some good DM. CJ with that high sense. Let's see if that'll uh, help him out. But we also have seen some good DM from the Salt Free fellas we saw. We saw Wigan and Zort Bloing doing their thing. And of course, we saw Mr. Jandler and also Skaz hitting a lot of pipes. So, we'll see what happens here. On that Skaz can, as I usually am on the start of these, and good damage on the top left. Klebs has to fall back. Doesn't have much of a choice after taking that much damage unless he wants to die. Sean making some space, but he's going to pay for his life. Jandler on that revenge tour does get that frag. Wigan will go down, but Skaz going to trade out, so pretty much just trading right now. Klebs trying to go in, does a lot of damage. They do have the health advantage on red, but the players are not in their favour. And it looks like blue, they want to heal up and go in. Yeah, we're already seeing a, a re-push back in here with players, and... Is that, that's Janler? Yeah, that's Janler on. I recognise these unusuals. And Skaz now finding two kills in that fight. Gonna fly away, nice surf. And they actually use on the side of red and blue. He's gonna trade a little bit later. I think they have to get one flash out there. As red will end up on the higher ground. And Skaz has to focus. He'll surf away once again. But red overall running the positioning game, and they do find Sean. So overall, red. They're a bit stronger in this fight. They are taking quite a bit of damage, but the positioning will help them out. And Blue now are looking the weaker team. Oh, Buzz on Snazzy, here he gets it. Buzz has done that quite a bit, actually. Buzz has found Snazzy at least three or four times throughout this series. So, big uber advantage now to the red team, and this will have to be a four man sack for Blue, and they're going now. I'm not seeing the bunker Oh! Yet. He even had the um, had all the stickies on the roof, but Snazzy, oh, not yeah. Snazzy, Skaz still able to squeeze a pipe in there and hit Zeal in the face. I think that's kind of the thing of this bunker is sitting so close like that. You kind of have to have your medic 
in the middle or back of it further. Because, um, like, quite often, you know, Meta Sister just gets insta give like that. Yep. And Klebs. He realizes he has to back up. My goodness, he takes a lot of damage. But there's a health pack waiting for him. And Red been doing a bit better in this positioning game. They've just been able to sit up top, but Zort Boy wants to put an end to that. Puts Fuzz down to 14, but again, they get forced. And they're really not finding anything with this, um, which is not good. Wigan does pick up the med here though. Club gets snazzy somewhere. Yeah, well that was uh, actually ended up pretty good. It looked like it was going horrible, and then when they ran out of it, it was when they did all the work, so... Not the most uh, traditional way of doing things, but it's all good. Snazzy, of course, did go down. Xander uh, escaping that fight barely with his life, 1 HP. CJ not very happy about it. <laughs> One, what the fuck, in chat from CJ. Bit rough for the uh, for the poor guy, but it's all good. And the first, well, Zort Boy's gonna heal up and prove his worth, coming back in with a frag onto Glebs. CJ's gonna trade and <laughs> Snazzy tried to arrow his teammate and Fuzz just tanks it and dies for it. Snazzy almost, almost dies to some rollers as well, but he's pumping out a lot of heals right now, which is good. And um, his team's gonna be able to take another point here and uh, be able to reset and it's pretty much even Ubers as well so they want to win they have a 30 second disadvantage so they uh, want to whittle that down and hopefully take it to the end if they can i'm noticing a little bit of a, a consistent theme with the soul free players here especially the scouts uh, quite often they get jumped or their meg gets jumped and i don't know if it's just because they're old and you know can't really get the next to look up that far anymore but um yeah, those soldiers just always get in for free on the scout, and the scout's are never aware of it. Yeah, and well, a bit of a interesting news. Actually, no, that wasn't too bad from Snazzy. I thought there was a lot less players on red, but both teams actually using anyway, so no advantage in the end of the day. And that 30 second advantage that uh, red had is now gone in terms of the time on the clock, and now it's blue with the big advantage as we see some big bombs from both of the salt free soldiers and Jamla killing CJ. So far looking pretty good, but the health isn't the best for Blue. But of course Snazzy putting out all those heals and the soldier's doing so well. The Sky Arrow, it's gonna hit. Good job from Snaz. And Jandler will live to see another day. They they being forklift certified need to look at shutting Wigan down and time. I can't believe I'm saying that sentence. The man just walks forward past people. He got a demo pick by literally just holding W. Like <laughs> That's probably the third or fourth time he's done so far in this match, and it's just... He's just a menace for that. And Snazzy, even if he doesn't have a play to defend him, he's been defending himself really well. He got a kill there and arrowed the other soldier as he surfed away. Wow, we Good stuff, and he's got Uber. So if they do get low, well, he knows what to do. He's used. Both teams are used. Catfish going a little bit deep and dying. Zort blowing also doing the same. And the Wigan doing the same, but he does trade on the demo, so pretty good trade. And they obviously will have the faster spawners because they do not have the point. So they'll have all their players up before the demo is even up on red. Look at Sean just sort of sitting behind on the pack here. I don't know if he's. He, yeah, he's looking to jump this roof. Looks to go for Fuzz there, will he? Nah, doesn't get anything else out of it. That's good damage. Uh, Zort Blowing will find Andrew as well, and that. That bomb there from Sean actually gives them all the space in the world to do stuff. As all the players from it ended up pretty much weak from that, but oh, Snazzy's got his baseball glove on and catches that one with ease, and he will go down, and that is exactly what you don't want to solve, right? Yeah, and Red, they shot down Wigan. He tries to squeeze his way through onto the point and try and work some miracle on. They only have 15 seconds to find it, and they have Uber, and Blue doesn't have any of those things, so... Yeah, that's pretty rough to come back from here. I don't, think, I don't even know if they're going to be able to get close to the point. They're going to do their jumping, and Skaz is going to try and hop on. But their sticky's all over the point. Yeah, one dead, and Catfish is gone. And yeah, no frags from Blue found it all in that fight, so... A nice few pipes there from Ducky. Clinching them around. 
I'm kind of hoping we see a little bit more control out of the roofs from Salt Prey. They do a lot of bombing of the roofs, but not a lot of actually sitting on them. Um, you notice when they're holding the point, they just kind of sit on the ground a lot. Um, yeah, that is true. I don't know if that's just a lack of, you know, not really playing the map much, or what that would amount to, but... Fuzz goes down, but he has traded by two players. And Sean and Catfish going down, and Snazzy was one, and he will go down, and Wigan pretty much won himself. He goes down as well, and that is a pretty clean first mid for Red. They only deny their scout uh, based on RNG, because it's the first gap, so unlucky, but uh, they'll have a massive advantage, so a four-man sack is what will be on the cards for Salt 3. It's a bit of a shame that there's no way to fix that RNG, at least I'm aware of. Yeah, uh, kind of sucks, but uh, it's what it is. Oh, Ducky. Oh, he survives too. Gets away with two frags there for free. What's that too? He's got two kills for I didn't actually see where the first one got picked up though. I'm not exactly sure. There's a lot of chat <laughs> right now. Uh, so I don't know what happened, but it's all good. Uh, they saw their advantage. Well, I mean, they've whittled, whittled down a whole minute on the block, so that is ideal for them. And now a minute 59 left for them to win this round, and Salt Free need to find a hole three. As they now walk onto the roofs, use the Uber, and Red only pop now, so around about a 20 second advantage in this Uber. 20%, I mean, advantage in this Uber. And Blue, they're gonna have to do a good job of kiting. Wigan did find a kill. Sean doing some good damage, and here comes Zort blowing just deep onto the combo. And they will find the point. So good pressure from Salt Free, but they need to keep this up if they want to make a comeback. Yeah, Forklift sort of fighting back on the point here, although they're kind of in a bit passive here. They have a lot of opportunity to do something here, and they're just kind of. Well, they're in the same way, they got a soldier on now, they pick up a damage pro. Yeah, that just was an absolute collapse from Forklift. Uh, obviously, Zeal does go down at the same time, so not the best case scenario for them, but they do get the point. Try not to deny Ducky. Get off the point. They'll hop back on. And now they'll have the point. Now that's their job at defending. And that's not good for Salt Free because that whittles down even more time that they have to catch up. I had a little bit of a in my head prediction, a prediction of a, a free two. So maybe four clip for this, but I, I I am worried that we may not even see that. Yeah, currently no real advantage that Selfie is able to edge out. Wigan is gonna find Fuzz, but Sean gonna go down, Wigan gonna go down. Zort Bloing trying to save the day for Salt Free, but he only finds Andrew and that might not be enough. They do get the point, that means that they will deny to their spawners that will Try and come in and help, and Catfish almost finding CJ, but CJ will clean him up. Ducky was finding. Um, Zolt Bloin, but Zolt Bloin did find the med, so a full on sack wave now is coming in onto Snazzy, and it will end up in their favour as Skaz was the only one to defend him, and he can't defend against four players. I think that's the first full wipe we've seen of Salt Free. Yeah, I think so. Um, Usually there's been a few struggles in every single fight, but that was pretty clean from Red. And that's pretty impressive, just knowing that there's no forklifts on this map that are doing this well, so... Um, good on them. Wigan with the entry, it's Catfish. will go down, but Wigan trading that one out as well, so two for him in this fight. Ducky was doing his best to walk up onto this point and do some damage as Sean will find one of his own. And that leaves Red in a pretty bad situation in terms of their player numbers. Ducky was looking for some heals, but Wigan doesn't give a shit and he's gonna walk up and just two shot him. And that's three for Wigan in one fight and he just does that sometimes. He just finds three or four in a fight or he finds none. There's really no in between. I was about to commend Salt Free for a pretty good retake there, but they are all just sitting on the ground again and they've now been ubered into, like... In theory, there should be a lot of players cleaned up here. 
Yeah, but they have no post position here, as you're mentioning. And they did find two, but it definitely could have been a lot cleaner. Ducky will go down, and now Sean fighting for his life in the house, but Fuzz is just way too healthy, and again, they just get collapsed upon because they're allowed to walk across the point because Salt Free has no post positioning. So. Zort Bloin will find Andrew, but Zeal is the main man that they want to get, and he's been protected by five bodyguards, so... Well, four at the moment, but soon to be five as Andrew does come up, so... Quite hard for them to do anything, as Kleb's gonna defend this roof with Fuzz's help, and Fuzz will find Zort Bloin. Not looking good for Salt Frey. Slanted roofs are a very scary, uh, object, to be honest. Yeah, maybe too much spam gets up there and Sticky's curving over the dark I just don't even want to think about it. Played way too much scout on this map and Well, Red. Making the forklift forklift drivers. They'll find their second round there, one round away. To taking on Pipe Beware the Pipeline 12 in the grand finale. Salt Free, can they make the ultimate reverse sweep? 3 0 in this map and then two maps in a row, I don't know. I've actually got a, a good amount of hope for them if they reach Gully Watch me else. I think Gully might be a bit more of their map. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of tend to agree with that. Because, um, well, the reverse sweep begins as they find so many threats at CJ behind and they just, they're just not keeping track of these players. CJ goes down. That is it. As, uh, as they would have an advantage there, normally. Their mate goes down, they also RNG deny their medic and demo, so that is just unfortunate. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I have zero idea what Catfish was doing there. <laughs> he was just still sitting on the point. Ducky Puss comes in, puts two sticks under him, and that's it. Like. He, he was kind of looking behind a bit, I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's zoned out. That was, um, yeah, I couldn't tell you, and I don't know if Catfish could either. But, uh, pretty even situation in terms of Ubers and players. Slide add to red, but I don't think they'll be too aware of it. But in cost, if you do have an advantage and you are forced to use it, it's a bit more deadly. And they are, just as I said, forced to use it, and blue have to back up, and Catfish is going to go down. But Ducky Puss gets traded out. Actually, only losing two. Oh, it was. I didn't even realize. Crits. Picks oh. up one already. Oh, oh it's a very close in mid. And yeah, Zeal's just elected to do a very smart thing. Just get out. Don't even contest a crit sticky like that. Yeah, and well, yes, yeah, Nazi dead once again, unfortunately for him, and they're gonna be at this ad once again. And not even crits would be able to get them up to speed, I don't think. As now they want to sap and Snazzy, not Snazzy, Skaz, puts a stick under him but thinks twice about just dive bombing him. Fuzz taking quite a lot of damage from top row, but he's going to get out. CJ chasing Zort Bloing. Zort Bloing tends to escape those situations as they want to re enter, but red, they have this positioning, but Fuzz gets destroyed by Catfish, but. Not enough to kill him, and Klebs is going to clean him. Good team out of the Red Soldiers, actually. Quite impressive to see. Gaz is actually doing a good amount of uh, work against these groups here. He's sort of been really the only one holding it down consistently, and saying that, he's going to die for his effort. And thank you, Frydog. The big man himself, raiding for the party of six. Oh. Big man, appreciate ya. Bringing along his squad to the uh, to Wait the potential on. death assault free. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if this is what you want to see, boys. This is uh, quite graphic. But we had a little bit more hope for them than I think they may have had for themselves. It certainly feels that way. Yeah. I mean, it's looking pretty good on that reckon. I mean, they didn't lose like badly at all. But this map is kind of a different story. Uh, but Sean trying to start the reverse sweep. But... The timer on the clock just is just, it's grim. It is not good. As Zobo will say, be grim. Juju. That's actually a very good retake from two scouts and uh, one there. So, what was that? Four, five kills between the three of them? 
yeah, that's uh, pretty good for them, actually. And they actually have a big ad, so they've got to... Now they've got to sit in these rooms that you're talking about and deny this four-man sack. Yeah, this is what you actually want to be saying for once. A bit of a salt free ad, a bit of positioning, although I'm saying that. I just yeah. crumbled them very quickly. Yeah, Jandler's going down. They have to use the Uber to save some players. Wigan's doing a bit of a catfish Uber, but he gets saved by Skaz. And it's Klebs, also quite weak, and Wigan wants to clean it, but... He pushing through a doorway, it's not good, and he catches a sticky on the floor. This isn't too bad if they don't lose any more here. They can still, you know, 30 seconds on the clock. They'll have their players up, they can recontest. And, yeah, they pick up a med frag there as well. Catfish. Hitting is trying to go back to his heyday you know, with those rockets, but he's not going to do it. And it is just snazzy up. Snazzy will get murdered by CJ. And Zeal did go down, but he will have advantage because of the spawn timer. We're going to try to clean up some frags while the medic isn't there. He's not going to be able to. There's only 10 seconds left for Red, so they've really got to do something there. So for the old men got to roll out quicker than they are. Oh, Trap's going to find straight away. Two players. Yeah, I think this might be the end of Salt Free. The dream of Salt Free winning their division is over. I am immensely disappointed. I mean, big congrats to uh, Portland Certified, though. That puts them into the Grand Finals, and... I'm gonna be honest, I've forgotten the team name. I know some yeah. players on it, but I can't remember the other team they'll be facing in Grand Finals. It's a Pipplin 12 team. Um, yep. But where the Pipplin 12. Um, who's in chat as well, so we will uh, we'll fear the Pipplin 12 in chat. But um, I mean, I'm not too fast at Forklift Certified 1. Uh, either because my literal Steam alias right now is Certified Forklift Driver, and I didn't even intend that to be an, uh, you know, a thing for this cast. So uh, I do love a good forklift driver out there. So good on all of them. We love some forklift drivers. So um, yes, Doctor, and you did miss it, but it was a two zero to the forklift drivers or forklift certified. Either way, if they're certified, they're going to be driving, so it doesn't really matter to me. But they can also drive and not be certified. So you know, um, we'll have to figure out the legality of that. Uh, soon I mean, enough. But... If Skomo has his way, you know. What was it, everyone <laughs> 16 and over or something? Six yeah, something like that. I can't remember what it was. Honestly, I want to get certified forklift. Just, I don't know why I said it that way, but I want to get <laughs> certification to be able to drive a forklift so my Steam alias on this account actually reigns true. That's the only reason. I don't think I'll ever just drive a forklift. Actually, could you just, like, buy a forklift and drive it around? I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> I would assume not. The thing is, too, I don't really know if they're, like, an expensive piece of equipment, really. Like, are they, like, the price of a car, or are they, like... I'm gonna look this up right now. Where can I buy a forklift? Or can you just, like, is it just, like, the, the cost of, like, a mid-range, you know, ride on mower or something? There is no way that this forklift is 38 grand. There is just no way, bro. This one for 18 grand? These things are fucked. Damn, I'm going to be saving up for years for a forklift, bro. They're expensive, more expensive than cars, then. What the fuck? Well, I guess I'm not getting a forklift anytime soon. That's extremely depressing. I guess I'm going to have to steal one. That's all good. Now, I'm going to be a bit of a, you know, a bit of a Debbie Downer. I don't think there's a point in looking at the logs, but in right. saying that, there are some replays. Um, I'm kind of just waiting for them to be put together. They're taking a sec for whatever reason. Right. I mean, um, beyond like a few med drops or med frags here or there, and you know, the one heavy play, we really didn't actually see a whole lot of flashy stuff. No, not really. There was a few good air pipes I saw from Scars, caused the heavy stuff from, um, uh, from Catfish, then we saw the Kleb stuff, and the cost really didn't have anything like insane there, uh, which is uh, a bit upsetting because uh, it is, you know, a bit of a chaotic map. But yeah, nothing too fancy. Um, so yeah, pretty clinical win for the forklift drivers and or forklift certified. And uh, oh, I did just see that uh, air shot though that Sean hit. Damn, didn't actually notice that one. Um, but yeah, I, I think the winner of this division should uh, definitely win a forklift of some sort. Um, regardless of what the team man is, I 
I want to see a TF2 player drive me forklift after the season is over. I was going to say maybe at LAN. You know, maybe, oh my god. Maybe that's how they, you know, bring all the, the BYO TPCs if there were any. That would be hard. What if just this team stuck together for LAN and rolled up in a forklift? Now that would be something I'd say. I would go to LAN to see that. Um... You probably can't even legally drive a forklift on the road, right? I'm not... I don't think... I, I'd assume to. not, right? Like, nowhere near enough horsepower. No. Uh, well, like, could you, like, engine swap a forklift? That'd be kind of hype. Oh, there, there you go, Fuzz and Chat. That's literally my job. Why do you think I named the certified? I mean... We love that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think it's, apart from Salt Free, I think it's now my new favourite team in this division because of the name. Uh, simply because I've had a whole Steam account, as I've said, like, many times, called Certified Forklift Driver for ages. So, uh, we take our forklift seriously in this. Yep, well, that's good, Zeal. I, I, uh, I respect that hardcore. And uh, I will be rooting for you guys simply because you're forklift drivers. And you take it seriously. Toyota um, Forklift. Damn. I saw a Hyundai one. That was the one that uh, cost 38 grand. The Toyota one was 18 grand, so... That's crazy. It's like a, all these car manufacturers you never actually expect to be like making anything else other than cars or making like forklifts. I mean, it makes sense, right? They're all vehicles, yeah. I guess, but... Yeah. Yeah, what makes a forklift 38 grand? What makes one 18 grand? I don't know, bro. I, I don't get it. Um... Trimming like less demand than a car. Uh, yeah, it's not like that. I guess we talked long enough about forklifts. I think that's it from everyone. Yeah. Uh, salt free. They go on. Goodbye. They do get a placement badge though this time. Yeah. So, yay. I mean, I, I think, honestly, that's the first I've seen them come in a while. I'm kind of trying to remember if they've, you know, placed in the last seven, eight seasons. I, oh my god. I'm going to make a bold claim. I don't think so. I could Damn. be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh. Yeah, feel free to let me know if I am, because I, I, I have no clue. But yeah. in saying that, good effort. Um, decent showing out of them, to be honest. I mean, it's some of what they were doing is a little bit weird, but I think that's kind of the salt-free speciality is a bit of, you know, a bit of brain benders. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I mean, Focus Certified. Just uh, shut him off completely on that uh, on that clear cut. So uh, they will be your victors for tonight, and I'll go into the grand final to us. Beware the Piplin Twelve, um, who also beat Salt Free to get there. So um, that's that, that from us. That is a shame. Beat Salt yeah, that, twice to get. That is yeah, that's rough. Uh, <laughs> like the final boss, that wasn't really a final boss at all. Um, Oh, well. I mean, that's it. Uh, Drum us, I think. Yep. Uh, so that's Forklift Certified. Two owing. Salt Free, the old geriatrics going back to the drawing board in their retirement home. Having a bit of a talk on, on tea break. Discussing what they can do for the next season if they all make it there without having a cardiac arrest. So uh, that's that. GG's. Good job, Forklift Certified. Good luck in the grand finals, which will, I assume, be casted by something. Maybe crits cost or something. I don't know. Maybe I. Yeah. Look, definitely expect premier grand finals and crits cost. Yeah. Um, we'll always aim to try to do that. I. Yes, it is. Um. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of different shit cast groups. Um. We've you know this is really the first one that's been done on here. Um. There's the quid group. There's Seinfeld, and I think that's on. Is it TG stream? I have no idea. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, I, I don't know if they're still doing this, but anyway, there's plenty of coverage, so you'll see it somewhere. Yeah. Well, GG's everyone. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you, Frydog, for the raid. Thank you for all the follows, people. We saw him in chat, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll be back sometime with some other cast. That's it. GG's everyone. Have a good one and yeah, we'll see you next time.